The Lulu Cup is a silicone menstrual cup that is bell-shaped with a flared rim. It's available in two different sizes, a small and a large, and comes in two different firmness options. The two colors of the Lulu Cup are specific to which firmness they are. The turquoise color is their softer version, and the pink color is their classic version, which is the firmer of the two cups. Although this cup originates from France, it can be found on sites like FeminineWear and MenstrualCup.co to be shipped worldwide. If you're visiting these sites, don't forget that you can use the discount code REDHERRINGTV for a 10% discount. And the links will be in the description box below. Today I'm going to do an unboxing, show you what you get, and then take you down to the table and do a walkthrough of the cup itself. If you're interested in hearing more about the Lulu Cup, stay tuned. Hello everyone, it's Red Herring. I hope you're having a great day. Any websites, links, or discount codes that I might have at this time will be in the description below. If you find anything helpful or interesting in this video, please give it a thumbs up, comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Before I get started, I do want to remind you that this is a bell-shaped cup with a flared rim and I find that these shapes tend to ride up and sit higher than V-shaped cups. So I more often suggest these cups to those that have a medium to low cervix. If you have a high or very high cervix, you can still wear these cups just fine. However, you may need to bear down a little bit more to reach them more easily. Now let's go down and take a look at the packaging and what you receive. As you will have noticed, the packaging is in French. However, uh, the manual that comes with it does have English. And now let's go back down to the table and take a closer look at the Lulu Cup. The small Lulu Cup measures 70 millimeters at total length, 45 millimeters without the stem. The diameter is 42 millimeters. And this cup holds 25 milliliters to the top of the rim. The large Lulu cup also measures 70 millimeters at total length, 50 millimeters without the stem, has a diameter of 46 millimeters, and holds 30 milliliters to the top of the rim. Starting with the stem, it is a nice solid piece of silicone that is a stick style. It does move in all directions, nice and flexible. It's uh, semi-squishy and it has good uh, stretch to it. It stops right about there. The small Lulu cup has three grip rings on the stem and then a ball tip so that your fingers don't slide off of it. And the large Lulu cup has two grip rings and that same ball at the tip. The stem on the large Lulu cup stretches to right about there. If you're planning on trimming the stem on the Lulu cup, make sure to leave some of the stem intact. There is no extra piece of meat on the inside. There are no grip rings at the base of the Lulu cup. It is nice and smooth. However, the silicone does have a good grippiness to it. If I pinch my fingers down and pull them apart, my fingers don't slide over it very quickly. Again, the Lulu cup has a flared rim and there is a thickening of silicone which starts right about at the air holes. Speaking of air holes, there are four of them. There's two here and two right here. They are quite large. You can see through them pretty well. If you focus right there, you can see right through both of them. I lost my pencil, so here is a pen tip so that you can kind of get a better gauge. There are two seams on this cup to mention. One travels the length of the body up and around the stem and back down the other side but they did clean these up really, really nicely and I can barely feel them with my fingertips. The other one is located on the top of the rim and again, they cleaned that up really well. 
There are no markings on the outside of this cup, but the inside they did brand it with their name Lulu Cup, as well as Made in France. Both of these are molded on the inside so that they can be read from the outside of the cup. Some of you have mentioned that the Lulu Cup reminds you of the Schoon Cup, so I'm going to go ahead and post some comparison photos now. Well, that's all I have about the Lulu Cup for now. If I missed anything or if you had additional questions, go ahead and leave me a comment down below. If you're interested in seeing some squish comparisons between the Lulu Cup and the Schoon Cup, I will be posting those soon in both sizes. So watch out for those. Also leave me a comment down below if you picked up the Lulu Cup already, which firmness did you get, and how it's working out for you. Until I see you next time, take care.